It's video game reaction time! Ah, uh, yeah! And BlizzCon is going on all day today. Finally, we'll be able to get around to the World of Warcraft cinematic oh, trailer. Oh, it's right, a new... It's an expansion pack at this point. Uh, Shadowlands is what it's called. And from my understanding, this time you go into the world of the undead and get to play it. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, dead people. Death and creepiness seems to be a running theme in uh, this and, year's and this BlizzCon. Year. <laughs> we just saw Diablo 4 and that was creepy as hell. So Shadowlands, well, you know, it should be interesting. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if I would ever go back to play World of Warcraft again at this point. It's mm -hmm. been... I've jumped in every now and then, like when Expansion Pack came out, but like really being hardcore into the game, it's been over 10 years. Like I think actually even before we got married, mm -hmm. we got married 10 years ago. Honestly, I wish we were already together then that you could have joined us in our World of Warcraft adventures because... Were they your, were they your cousins? Yeah, with my cousins and my friends. It was like 12 of us that were playing right. and we would get together a couple times a week and the weekends. And it was honestly probably one of the best times in my life. Like not even just one of the best games I ever played. It was one of the best times in my life. It was so much fun. So many memories. Changed my thought about like what video games were all about. Changed the trajectory of my career even in terms of like what I wanted to work on in video games. Oh my God, there's yeah. so many good times, babe. Oh my God. I don't think I will be able to play. It's so complicated. No, that was just it. Literally, half the people that play never play video games before. This is how I got everyone hooked. This is a good start before we get to the trailer, all right? So I bought the first copy of the game and it was awesome. So I got it to my cousin Elmer, who you know uh -huh. is a geek, and Alvin. And I got them the free trial because you can do like a, you know, X number of days, seven days, maybe like free trial. Uh -huh. And they got hooked. Then he went and got his wife, Audrey, hooked. And then she got her friends hooked. And it just kind of went from there and there and there. And half of them were a wife who never played games ever. And they would play <laughs> along as well. And That's they were fun. doctors. They were engineers. Like everyone from like every walks of life would get together. Right. We would coordinate. And we would jump into this world and we play together. Wow. And because there was 12 of us, or maybe not 12, maybe like 10 of us, there's always someone to jump in and play with. They actually played even more than I did. They were really, really hooked. <laughs> like I could not keep up with their schedule because I was just so busy and like working. Especially they're ahead of time. Time difference was, was a killer. Right. But uh, yeah, it eventually turned to a point where... We had to, and this is a great story. Uh, so a couple of the people that were playing um, had a child. Two of them were doctors, man and a wife. They were eventually arguing who had to watch the child that night because they wanted to play. Oh, my God. And uh, they were starting to get up late for work. Uh -huh. Like trouble was ensuing in the relationship. So they went cold turkey and they just quit. They deleted their account <laughs> and they just quit. And it's like, no, we can't do it anymore. <laughs> but for good, oh, I don't know. I felt like maybe six months to a year, it was some of the best really? online gaming that we did. Yeah, it was Oh, my God, so that long, fun. huh? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Wow. All right, so such fond memories of the game that, uh, you know, it, I kind of want to keep it that way. Honestly, I feel like if I jump back into World of Warcraft today, I would be <laughs> probably disappointed because the game mechanics really haven't changed in 10 years and it probably feels outdated now. Mm -hmm. Like, I just get my fix just watching other people play mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun to watch. But man, just like managing your macros, forming raids and oh, planning everything out, like, oh, the end game is just way more complicated than it needs to be and i just kind of reached a point where like i would not have fun playing anymore mm -hmm. but uh, i still love following the development of the game i still love hearing about the new features coming out i don't know what it is it's like i'm invested into it at this point <laughs> i refuse to jump back into this world again i still need to have a life <laughs> all right all right so shadowlands let's check it out let's do this and away we go Creepy as hell, too. That music. Well, it is the afterlife. Ice crown. A monument to our suffering.
the veil Ooh. between life. Here? Why, is and she not supposed to be there? I don't know. Where a usurper sits on a frozen throne. It's a long walk. But no king rules forever. The Lich King. Yes. Huh. Ice and fire? How are you gonna kill that? Guess we're gonna find out. Wow. Is she, she good? Come by herself. Does she look like she's <laughs> good? Because... Well, actually, she was once. She get this powerful. Uh, she doesn't look scared at all. Ah! Ay, I love How is this she moves so fast? You ain't gonna be able to dodge that. No, she knew. What the hell? How how is she this strong? She's like dark like the dark phoenix. She wants to become queen. Just be careful with your ears, baby. <laughs> She's no. gonna break it. Ah! Gonna destroy the whole underworld. Holy Jesus! She like broke a rift between the living and the dead? And I What's that will thing? set us I don't know. all free. It's the castle upside down, I guess. The other side of the world. Looks like it. Purchase now. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I will say, this is the first time that I'm really curious about the storyline. 
Because normally when I play World of Warcraft, I'm less interested in the storyline than I am in the, just the playing, like just discovery, you know, the mm-hmm. whole world, like, you know, MMORPG is just about like going to new zones and discovering it and playing out the new mechanics, meeting new races, battling new enemies. But this, there's something really interesting about what they're doing here that I'm really curious how they pull it off and what the storyline is and like how... They take the Lich King and Savannah and, like, what's their storyline about ongoing? Which, honestly, up to this point, I really haven't cared that much about. So, very good job. Another amazing cinematic. Dang. Man, BlizzCon this year. Oh, God, I wish I went well, this I year. I want to be like her. She's so powerful. Yo, babe, she is just an evil bitch. Why you want to be like her? Oh, is she a bitch? No, she's about to save the world. Does she look like she's trying to save the world? That's what she said. She, I'm going to set you all free. They don't mean that saving. That could be like stabbing you till you die type of thing. Good people don't look like her. Don't oh you God. know video game tropes by now? I don't know. That's evil look. <laughs> you know what's sad is that she was good before. And Actually, a lot of the characters cor- were, in, including yeah, the Lich King, used to be good, and eventually they became corrupt. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, carryover elements from the um, Lord of the Rings stuff. You know, there's a lot ah. of storyline elements that kind of. Although that being said, a lot of fantasy tends to have very similar tropes. Mm. You know, it's all elves and orcs and wizards and you know stuff like that. So it's interesting storyline that I've always really appreciated with World of Warcraft. So mm. uh, this will be it. Oh, mm. <laughs> Purchase now. <laughs>